Hey everyone, I'm Rachel and I have hamsters and today I wanted to talk about hemp bedding. So I decided that I wanted to give hemp bedding a try because hemp is such a wonderful fiber and material. If you don't know a lot about hemp, hemp is a very easy to grow plant in North America. It doesn't take much water or pesticides. It just grows naturally in a lot of different conditions, which means that it's a wonderful fiber to support the cultivation of, much better than cotton or or uh, trees to make paper. So if you wanna try to do something more sustainable for your hamster's enclosure, using a more sustainable source like hemp is a great way to do that. I had heard mixed things about hemp going into this. Uh, there's some YouTubers that seem to love it and there's other YouTubers or Instagrammers that um, kind of don't like it as much. So I wasn't sure what to think, but I figured I'll give it a try and see how it goes. So it comes in really big bags, so just a warning. The, I just bought the one that was the smallest bag I could get. It was not any particular brand that I thought was better than another brand. Uh, this is the bag, it's by Eaton Hemp and I got it from Chewy, although you can get it at many other places. It just was the place that I happened to find it at. Um, I would say on the whole, it is less expensive than paper bedding. For this whole bag, it was about half the price of a comparably sized bag of paper bedding. So that is great if you are on a budget. And the way I dealt with it, I poured it into plastic bags and then I put this in my freezer for 48 hours before I used it for my hamsters. And the reason I do that is to make sure that there are no bugs or anything that comes with the bedding. I'm not sure that freezing would necessarily kill everything, but it can't hurt, so why not do it? One time I did get bugs in my food years ago for my uh, gerbils and it was like horrible. <laughs> so it got into all the other food in my cupboards and it just is not worth going through that. If you can avoid it by freezing things before you use them, I highly recommend doing that. So put it into bags, I froze it, and then I ended up with this. And I would say the way I would describe hemp bedding is that it's sort of like a softer, Aspen. So it has the same quality as Aspen in that it's sort of like, it's not fluffy. It doesn't hold tunnels. I wouldn't recommend this for burrowing areas, but it does have sort of a silky smooth texture. It's not splintery. It's, you know, there's, you know, if you took it, if you took any individual kind of chip of it, um, and it looks a lot like wood chips, you know, sure, if I press hard, I can feel it, but it's definitely not splintery. I don't think you could get a splinter from this. The fibers are very soft and sort of wispy, um, which is nice. So I think from that perspective, it is a nice fiber for your hamster. It might even be better than Aspen. Um, it's sort of compared to Aspen. Aspen has that beautiful Aspen smell to it. This kind of smells a little bit earthy or like nothing at all. Um, if you have allergies, I use a mask when I use Aspen and the same for orchard grass hay. And um, for this, I also used a mask. I have a lot of allergies to grass and weeds. So I just use a mask when I put it in my hamster's enclosures. I probably shouldn't have taken a big whiff right then, but I'm sure I'll be okay. <laughs> but if you do have allergies, seasonal allergies like I do, I recommend that you handle it with a mask on. And since we all have tons of masks these days, why not just use them? I have been using this in two ways. One, I've been putting it in parts of my hamster's enclosure where normally there I might put coconut fiber. So I've been using it sort of as like an alternative material that isn't really for burrowing, that maybe I'll sprinkle seeds throughout and allow them to forage through. So I think it's a nice alternative to either aspen chips or coconut fiber. It sort of has that like they can dig through it, um, but they're not gonna sleep in it or burrow in it. The other way I've been using it is trying to mix it in with paper bedding uh, to, so that it can be there, it can sort of supplement the paper bedding, but still allows for burrowing. I am not wild about that solution yet because I found that my hamsters much prefer paper bedding to sleep in than hemp or basically any other material. So they seem to not like it when the hemp is mixed in. And the way I know this is because when I have tried mixing it in, I see that they're spending a lot of time carrying clean paper bedding over to wherever it is they're trying to nest. So that to me is a clue that they don't really like sleeping in this and that maybe it's better if I didn't mix it in with anywhere where they want to be burrowing. Um, the other way I've been using it, and this maybe is a more effective way, is I've been putting it as like a bottom layer um, as an additional 
um, place to absorb urine. So for Laverne, say she's one of my dwarf hamsters, um, she actually has some kidney trouble, so she drinks a lot of water and she also urinates a lot. And I put this as like a bottom layer underneath where she nests, and then I put paper bedding on top of it, and then I put her to hide on top of that. And then that way, every time I clean out her nest area, which I do need to at least spot clean, or I'm kind of constantly cleaning because it gets, it gets pretty icky pretty quickly for her. Uh, every time I do that, I'm not you know, wasting all of the paper bedding, I can kind of like scoop out this as well. And because it's cheaper and a more sustainable source, I don't feel so bad going through it so quickly. So that's kind of a nice way of giving the absorbent layer without interfering with the material that she likes to use. For Steven, my Roborowski hamster, uh, he specifically does not like this fiber. I tried putting it in different parts of his enclosure and he dug it all up and pushed it out, you know, <laughs> out different holes. So so it might not be a, a fiber that your hamster universally likes. I don't know if it's the way it smells for him or if he's just uncomfortable with it because it's new. All of these things could be factors, but um, it's just something to think about if you are going to introduce this into your hamster's enclosures. Uh, I maybe would do a little bit at a time, see how they like it, and maybe I wouldn't do it everywhere <laughs> like I did for poor Steven. I didn't realize that he was gonna not like it so much. So, you know, maybe just tread lightly and, um, you know, try to use it in an area where maybe there's more of a foraging opportunity or like around the base of a wheel where they're not really gonna be burrowing anyway. Uh, so that's how I've been using it so far. I'm, you know, I still have a lot of a bag left, so <laughs> I have a lot to be used, and as I learn new tricks, I will definitely be sharing them. If you have any tricks to share using hemp bedding, or if you have a brand you really like, or just any experience at all you'd like to share, please leave me a comment below. I love hearing from you guys, and it's just great to sort of learn something new that I didn't know about. So thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next week.